Okay, we're here with Source and Steve looking at his uh, latest creation, which is for sharpening cutters of all sorts. You see lots of stepper motors. Steve, can you tell us what you've got here? Okay, it's cutter sits in a tool holder here, which can rotate under stepper control, so you can set the angle. Cutter is always on center of this rotation, which goes this way and this rotation which goes that way. So you can this will rotate around that and it will then rotate around like that with your grinding wheel set up wherever. And then this one can come in and out to set your cut and then rotate to give you your uh, give you your angular position. And then this whole assembly can move in and out side to side and up and down. So in theory, totally universal. Okay, and these are tiny little steppers. Yep. You said came from printers and things oh, like that. Yeah, just anything, anything, either dirt cheap Chinese ones or bits robbed out of printers. Okay, and you said they were running at about one amp, did you? Yeah, just normally about around about one amp, whatever the stepper motor requires. And you don't need anything powerful. Something like sixty nine to one, and I tried stopping one a time ago with my hand. Yeah, these really are just these extremely are just, difficult. These are just um, rebuilt. Um, Windscreen wiper motor worm gearboxes, re engineered. That's the gearbox there. Oh, let's get it in focus with an eccentric to get the worm gear into the main gear. Yeah, you just make sure that there's no end float on the, uh, on the worm with a thrust race on the stepper motor supported at the end in a bush and then the whole thing is in an eccentric that can then be rotated around to engage or disengage the worm to get you absolutely uh, backlash free. Nice. And it was being driven essentially off a pick processor before? Uh, the, well, for testing I'm just using a, a, a dividing attachment which is just a convenient method of getting some steps and directions. But no, it will eventually be run from Mac 3. Okay. So uh, six axis. Six axis control. Thank you. 